Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and run PokerStars on Linux Mint. Uh, this video will show you not just how to install PokerStars, but how to get you around um, websites that only allow you to download Windows software using Internet Explorer. So to start off with, go to Chrome and search for PokerStars and then click on the first link. And then you want to click on Download Installer. At this point, it should download the software for you. Uh, you can accept all cookies because that's a regulatory feature in the UK. Um, but yeah, so it should download the file now, but it doesn't download the file. If you go to settings and then extensions, you can search for user agent switcher. Yeah, it won't be installed, so you have to click on the Chrome Web Store. And you search for use an agent switcher in there. Uh, the first one's fine. And then add to Chrome. And then in the top right corner, you'll see um, that the extension is installed. If you click on it, a uh, menu will appear, and then you just choose Internet Explorer. Now, if you refresh your PokerStars, it should download the installer. Okay, so the next step is to install Wine. Wine allows you to run Windows programs natively to Linux. So we're going to go to Software Manager. Now you can use tools like Play on Linux or Lutris or something like that to install PokerStars, but I find it doesn't actually make the process any easier. So this is why I'm recommending using Wine. And we search for Wine. Choose the first option. And just click Install. And enter your password. Uh, you don't want to launch it at this point. Um, what we're going to do is close that. We're going to open a terminal window. So I've got a terminal in my quick launch bar, but you can also press Control Alt T on your keyboard. And we're ready to go with the actual installation. Within the terminal window, type wine space forward slash home forward slash your username forward slash downloads with a capital D forward slash then poker stars install uk.exe. Make sure that the case is right uh, and it matches the actual exe file. The PokerStars installer will now start and you can click to accept the terms and conditions and click install. And as you can see, it starts very quickly and you can launch it. It will now connect to the PokerStars um, website and it will start to download an update. This can take a short while to do. Eventually um, the PokerStars will launch and then you can uh, log in and play whatever game you want to play. So the next step is to add a launcher to run PokerStars every time. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Nemo the uh, file browser and You'll see my gallery folder. What we're going to do is make sure hidden files is selected. And we're going to go down. And if we put it into details mode, you should see a folder called wine. If you click into there, you'll see a folder called Drive C, and then program files, PokerStars UK, and there's the exe file. Uh, now you could just open with Wine at this point, or what we really want to do is create a launcher. So we'll right click on the desktop, create a new launcher, we'll give it the name PokerStars, and what we're going to do is we're going to browse to the folder we've just 
seen there. So dot wine, drive C, program files, pokestars, and then we're looking for pokestars.exe. Uh, on its own, it's not going to work. So we need to type the word wine in front of it. And you also need to put quotes around it. And you'll also see the, there's a space between the program and files and it's all messed up. So we're going to remove that there. And that should be good enough to go. Would you like to add the launch to the menu? Yes. And then you should be able to double click and it should start PokerStars. As you can see, I've now connected. I can log in. And I can play the game. I'm going to skip to an actual game that I played. Uh, it's just a, using play money. Um, just three of us at the table, um, just to prove that it worked. Uh, now, for um, if you're wondering how well it plays on Linux, um, I played all last Sunday night with a couple of pals, and uh, we played all night and had a good game, and it worked perfectly fine, uh, just as it would on Windows. So, um, if you look at the PokerStars website, it does actually say it's supported for Linux, um, using Wine as the uh, method for running it. Um, but somebody's obviously not told them that their website doesn't allow you to actually download the installer. Um, so hopefully this guide will help people that want to uh, play PokerStars or even um, people that want to install Windows software that won't allow it to download from the website. As you can see, I won that game and that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.